Hi, I'm 7 Weather Meteorologist Josh Nichols with this week's edition of Josh's Weather Academy, a segment where I take some of your weather questions and take a deeper dive into all the weather whys. Western New York is familiar with severe thunderstorms, and we even get a tornado or two every year. But when severe weather hits and you live in a condo or an apartment, are there things you should do differently than if you live in a single family home? The answer may surprise you. Western New York has a wide variety of living spaces, which of course include apartment buildings. So what do you do when there's severe weather, like a severe thunderstorm or tornado, and you live in an apartment with no basement to go to and can't get away from windows? Whether you live in a home or an apartment, it starts with having a plan before severe weather hits. Do your best to get away from doors and windows. Get in between as many walls as possible between you and the outdoors and try not to stay on high ground. An interior hallway or room on the lowest floor of your building works well. Shoot for the lowest floor possible in an interior windowless room if there's a tornado watch or warning. This is also a great opportunity to get to know your downstairs neighbors. If you can't do that, cover yourself with a mattress or as many pillows as possible to shield your head from flying debris. Protecting yourself means you can help others after the storm. Finally, never get on an elevator during a tornado warning. Loss of power could leave you trapped indefinitely and therefore at even higher risk. So now you know that there's not much difference in staying safe during a severe thunderstorm or a tornado, whether you live in an apartment or a single family home. Have a weather question that you'd like answered? Email me at weather at wkbw.com and your weather question could be the subject of the next Josh's Weather Academy. I'm 7 Weather Meteorologist Josh Nichols. Stay weather wise.